Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are nice and cozy on my floor. So today's video is to show you what's on my wonderful hygiene cart here. I want to clean it out anyway, so I figured might as well show you as I take things off. Um, I keep all my body mists in uh, the other bedroom, nice and organized and pretty, and here I keep a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So let me just show you this cart. It has four um, little compartments. It has wheels, I think. I don't think I put on the wheels, but I'm pretty sure it came with wheels. It is pretty sturdy. It is plastic, um, but it's pretty sturdy. So if you're looking for a nice cart, I highly recommend this one. It's got a little handle up top so you can roll it. Um, if I find it, I will link it down below, but there's a bunch of different colors, so highly recommend. So in this top part of the cart, I keep a lot of miscellaneous or things I'm trying to use up, that kind of vibe, over here. We'll start over here. So I have a bunch of the Victoria's Secret lotions that I bought even though I shouldn't have. I don't like the formula of these, however, I do like that they're kind of like a perfume lotion. And what I do is I layer them on top of more moisturizing products or like a body oil or something like that. Usually I just use a different lotion and then pick one of these to kind of layer above it that um, has a similar kind of scent profile. I will not be purchasing any more of these ever again after I use these up. I just do want to put them into good use and the packaging of these is incredible. This one is Blackberry Fizz. It's Blackberry Sorbet Velvet Dahlia and Shine Bright. So this was the last holiday collection. It smells pretty good. It smells like blackberries. It's got like a snowy kind of creamy vibe. It's really nice, but again, I bought it because I liked the scent. The packaging is gorgeous. I just, I need to use this up. Then I have Pure Seduction. I figured Pure Seduction is such a classic scent that I got the lotion and I do like the scent, but again, I'm just, I'm trying to use these up. I've got Velvet Petals La Creme, which is the only one I don't regret buying because I actually am obsessed with this scent. So I do not mind that I have this, but still, I'm gonna try to use it up no matter how pretty the packaging is displayed. Then I have Champagne Petals. Again, the packaging is to die for. This is a good scent. It has like raised like glitter. It's just so freaking pretty, especially for the holiday season. And I do like the scent, but again, want it in a body mist, don't need it in a lotion. So I'll just have to use this up. I also have Bombshell up here. I love Bombshell. I have the body mist, the um, perfume, and the lotion. Again, not a fan of these lotions, but I'll make an exception for this one because with the perfume paired, I just feel so luxurious. There's something about Bombshell that makes me feel like a Victoria's Secret angel, you know? Then up here I have Champagne Sprinkles. This is one that I want to use up. Here's the thing. I love this scent. It does smell good. However, something about it makes me feel a little sick. I don't know what it is. It's just, it has this like yogurty kind of icing creamy scent that is delicious, but it's a little sickening, like whipped cream sickening. So maybe it's champagne. Champagne notes are a little iffy for me, but I like this. The packaging is gorgeous, but I do want to use it up because it's not one that I want to keep in my collection forever or that I need backups of or anything like that. So I might as well just use it up. So I keep it up there for whenever I'm feeling like a really um, sweet scent, I will reach for this one versus another one, if that makes sense. So yeah. Let me know how you feel about the scent. I have my Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I absolutely love this stuff. I don't use it that much because I have so many other scents to choose from. But if you're looking for something to just kind of put on so that you can get dressed right away, this stuff is incredible. You just put it on while you're still wet, like right out of the shower, you can keep it in your shower. And it's really moisturizing and it smells really good. Then I have two oils up here. I have the Johnson's Baby Oil, just a little one to try it out. And then the Honey Oil. Love this scent. This is such a good one. I also have a body serum up here. This is from Earth Harbor. This is Laguna um, Marine Algae and Blue Yarrow. I don't know what it is. It kind of just smells like the ocean, not in like a pleasant spa way, but in like a plants from the ocean that don't necessarily smell that good kind of way. I also have some makeup wipes up here. I don't use them that often, but when I'm feeling really lazy or tired, I will reach for a makeup wipe, so. Yeah, I just have one up here. I also have these guys. These are little spatulas that you can reuse and reuse and reuse. These are to get into your products, makeup or lotion, anything like foundation, anything that you can't reach to all the way to the end. Um, I recommend these, especially with the aromatherapy line. They're glass bottles. You can't really get the last of it. This little guy, 
saves you so much product. So yeah, highly recommend getting these. They're reusable, so you'll have them forever and yeah. I also have two scrubs in here. I have the cotton candy. This one I haven't used yet. I just, the tree hut scrubs are my favorite. Um, I can't really smell that much out of the product right now, but I'm sure in the shower it'll be stronger. And then I have a Dove exfoliating body polish. These are just replacements for when I need a new scrub in my shower. I have not tried the Dove formula before, so let me know how you like it. But I do like how exfoliating the tree cut scrubs are, so I don't know if this will be enough for me, if that makes sense, but yeah. I also have these up here. These are <laughs> interesting devices that you put your product in. They have this little like hole and then you turn it so that you get every last bit of product. This is meant for like the size of a toothpaste, but it does work for some lotions as well or like skincare products. So yeah, get yourself these if you don't want to cut open your product and it'll literally get every last bit of it out. I have an Axe spray. Um, this I put on right after the shower, like when I'm still wet, just to add a little something to my body, and then I go in with my regular body care. Um, this lasts a total of 0.2 seconds on me, so don't recommend. The scent is nice though, and it makes me feel like I have an extra step, and I also bought a three pack, so it is what it is. I also have my uh, Dove spray. I'm trying out a bunch of different scents. These are my favorite um, deodorants. I feel like some scents work better than others, um, but yeah, this is my favorite deodorant of all time, so I have one in every bathroom and in the bedroom on my cart. I also have the native deodorant. This one is in grapefruit and bergamot. I like this. I'm trying out a natural deodorant once in a while. So yeah, nice to just have this ready to go. And then last but not least on that top shelf, I have a couple of the Boo Boom creams. These are absolutely amazing, especially in the summertime. I love these. I want to use them up and just get a full size of one um, for next summer. So yeah, I keep them up there just to get some more use out of them so I can get rid of them. Also, I like to keep the packaging to travel with. I put other lotions in here or skincare products, so. All right, let's move on to my second shelf over here where I have all my lotions, body butters, things like that that are not Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret. Side note, I really like having this cart here next to my bed so I can kind of choose my fragrance for the day that way. Big fan. So I have these two aromatherapy lotions. I'll be honest, I don't use these on my body. Um, I use them on the sinks in our bathrooms and the kitchen, but we don't really use lotions after washing our hands, so they're just kind of there for decoration or for guests, but these two are from the bathroom and the kitchen. We're moving soon, so I just kind of put them in here to remember where they're at. Then I have this EOS lotion in vanilla cashmere. This smells like vanilla yogurt to me, and it smells really good. It is a very overpowering scent, so you definitely have to like those kind of vanilla icing type smells, but it's really moisturizing. The formula is fantastic. I like the packaging, so yeah. If you have not tried this, highly recommend. I have these two little fall hemp lotions, a mini of apple cinnamon shortbread, and a big pumpkin spice and vanilla chai. These are amazing. They smell like candles, but like in a good way. So yeah, if you are looking for a pumpkin spice lotion, the Hemp's formula is outstanding. Literally in my top two favorite formulas of all time, so highly recommend. I have this lavender whipped um, shea body butter and uh, from Tree Hut. This formula is superb. It is amazing, absolutely stunning. The amount of product you get is like all the way filled to the top. It's beautiful. The smell, I do not like. I like a nice vanilla. This is like a creamy vanilla lavender, and it smells a little plasticky. So not a fan of that, but the formula is really good. I've got these two beauties here. These are the um, I Heart Revolution cereal body butters. We have Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles. Smell like the actual cereal. This one, the scent does not last. It's not very strong. This, however, does last. It smells like, literally like Cocoa Pebbles, so. Really like these, highly recommend. Also like the packaging. I want these regardless if they're good. I've got another hemp lotion. This is my favorite hemp lotion of all time. This is the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. Amazing. If you like really fruity scents, get this in the summertime. Ulta has sales all the time. There's sales on these literally all the time. So highly recommend trying out the hemp formula. Again, you will not be sorry. I've got this guy. This is the Strawberry Peach Body Lotion. I have the matching body wash in my shower. This scent is absolutely amazing. It literally smells like a strawberry and peach starburst. It smells so good. The only thing is the scent does not last, unfortunately, but it does smell incredible. I have this lavender um, body butter type thing. It smells really good. It smells like real lavender. I haven't used this yet, but I just wanted more lavender things. I'm not into florals, but my boyfriend really likes lavender. So yeah, I got a couple products. Need to try this out still. I got the St. Ives Soothing Body Lotion Oatmeal and Shea Butter. I love this scent in the body wash, so I had to get the matching lotion. And I like to use it with like the 
almond oat whatever body spray from Victoria's Secret. It smells so good. This stuff is seriously incredible. If you want to be warm and cozy and sweet but not too warm, this is the way to go. I have these two Vaseline lotions, one in Cocoa Radiant, one in Soothing Hydration that has kind of like an aloe vera type smell. Um, this one is really nice. It smells like hot chocolate powder. It's a little, little too deep for me. Uh, but for nighttime it'll be nice and this one is just kind of very soothing and pleasant so I figured there are times for soothing and pleasant, for example after being out in the sun. And then I have the Nivea Breathable Body Lotion. This is really nice, it is nice, like it's lighter so you can put your like jeans on right away. Um, I still would say if you're looking for a product like this, get the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer that, that I showed earlier. Um, but still, this is really nice. It has like a nice like slight fruity scent. All right, now down here I have my Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret body creams, lotions, and so on and so forth. I'll try to speed through these. We have Watermelon Lemonade, I've got Mango Mai Tai, Strawberry Soda, and Cherry Limeade. This was like such a good collection for someone like me that loves fruity scents and the packaging. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I also have Raspberry Tangerine, another favorite of mine, Honeysuckle and Peach Tea, Papaya Paradise Cove, which they better bring back for the semi-annual sale. It's so good. And then Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. I also have Firecracker Pop, another favorite of mine. And then uh, Coconut Cream Pie, which I love in the body cream. The body spray is a little too warm for me, so I didn't keep it, but the body cream is stunning. And then a uh, Raspberry Jam Donut as well. And then I have Whipped Dream from Victoria's Secret Pink. It smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I've got three of these guys. I've got Confetti Cake Pop, I have Brown Sugar and Fig, and I have Sugar Cherry Crisp. And then I have Firecracker Pop in one of these Shimmer Fizmus. I love these so much. They're so fun. I've got the Grapefruit Lotion from Victoria's Secret Pink and a Mango Body Butter from Victoria's Secret Pink. And on the last shelf, I have body washes that I don't currently have in my shower. I keep a lot of my body washes already in the shower so I can kind of pick and choose what I'm in the mood for when I shower. These are extras that I kind of rotate in whenever I feel like it. I have raw sugar, the watermelon fresh mint, best watermelon scent in a body wash ever. I have the raw sugar um, body wash in pineapple and smokey berry and coconut, also a nice scent. I have this quiet and roar body wash in peach and green tea. I really love the scents of these. Um, the packaging I think is not the best. It does leak a little bit, but the scents are really good. I have two Olay body washes, one in watermelon and one in star apple and hibiscus. These body washes, the formula is stunning. I have this Hey Humans banana and aloe body wash. Still excited to try this. Have not tried it yet. I have this Olay retinol kind of body wash. I have the skin conditioner in my shower and I absolutely love the scent so I had to get the matching lotion. I have these two Method Body Washes, one uh, in Berry Balance and one in Deep Detox. Love these, love the packaging of these. I think these are so pretty. Then I have the Soap and Glory Bubble in Paradise Body Wash and the Native Pumpkin Spice Latte Body Wash. If you love pumpkin spice lattes, get this. This stuff smells incredible. Seriously, it smells so good. So much spice, so much pumpkin. Like there's definitely a pure pumpkin in there. It smells so good. And then last but not least, I have this little guy of my, some Bath & Body Works uh, body washes. I have strawberry soda. I have cherry limeade, mango mai tai, watermelon lemonade, Fiji sunshine guavatini, firecracker pop, marshmallow pumpkin latte, and sugared cherry crisp. I don't really like the formula of these that much. I like it, but I prefer... Um, the other formulas that aren't Bath & Body Works, so I just kind of like these for the scents. All right, you guys, that is everything in my cart. Let me know which products you like, what you want to try, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.